Andrew, I searched long and far for you, roughly 1,000 miles. When we first met, I thought, this is awesome. Now I have friends to watch the Bengals games with in Florida. <laughs> Little did I know that the future would hold a lifetime of Bengals games with you. Michelle, it was clear to me that you were the one after you didn't call me back after our first date. <laughs> <laughs> But that didn't deter me. I knew there was something special about you the first time I met you. Today I watched Michelle marry a wonderful man. I'm filled with pride. I'm confident that Michelle and Andrew are about to embark in a wonderful journey together. I told you I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> Welcome everybody on this beautiful evening. We've got over 180 guests here tonight to witness a special day for Andrew and Michelle. We're all here tonight to help Michelle and Andrew with their new journey. From every skyline date to the road trips to the many, many places all over the world we have traveled, this life is just more fun with you in it. I've loved every moment with you, even the tough ones. One time after an argument, you told me that you love me and that we can get through anything that challenges us. <laughs> With an attitude like that, nothing can stop us. You're my best friend and we make a great team. We've already been through a move across the country, home purchases, a couple job changes. So I really do think that we have the strength to get through any challenges that we may face. So on our wedding day, when I stopped crying, I make these promises to you. I promise to be your biggest fan and most loyal groupie. <laughs> I promise to only bug you sometimes about mowing the grass. <laughs> I promise to love you with my whole heart and be devoted to you. I promise to share my hopes and dreams with you and to support your hopes and dreams as much as my own. I promise to be honest with you, especially when the grass does not need to be cut. <laughs> I promise to be faithful to you and always respect you and care for you. I promise to play with Teddy when you're too tired for tug of war. I promise to be your best friend and confidant. I promise to be honest and open with you. I promise not to take you for granted. And I promise to be faithful and unwavering for the rest of our lives. I promise to encourage you and inspire you to laugh with you and to comfort you when times are tough. I promise to have trust in you completely. I promise to cherish, love, and honor you in whatever life may bring us. Having pledged their fidelity to one another, to love, honor, cherish, in the presence of this gathering, and by the authority vested in me by the state of Ohio in my six-week online training course, <laughs> it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew and Michelle O'Donnell.
I just wanted to start this out by saying uh, I only really came here because I thought Teddy was going to be here, <laughs> and I'm uh, a little bit disappointed. <laughs> and I first met Michelle four or five years ago, and uh, she immediately just fit in with our group. But I just remember uh, the first time I met her, I was like, I hope this works out. Uh, she seems really cool. Now here we are. Andrew, getting to know you the last few years, you are one of the most genuine, authentic, caring, super kind of cool. But my favorite, favorite thing about you is that you're Michelle's best friend. I'm glad to be able to call Michelle family now. Andrew, you're the best brother anyone could ever ask for. I love you, and I hope I can always play drums in your band. <laughs> I give you my wholehearted blessing, and I know you two will last a lifetime. I'm so happy that this day has finally come. Congratulations, and I love you both. You couldn't have found a better man, Michelle. Yeah.